Hi everyone, it's Linnea for LDRS Creative, and today I'm going to be making a pretty simple card with just a few of my favorite products from the Summer 2023 collection. I love the old brick wall background stamp. It's a great way to just add a little bit of texture to your background without having something too distracting. And the new Jumbo Alpha dies, there's both Jordan and Natasha. They're both really versatile and great for any kind of project. I'm going to start by taking just a scratch piece of copy paper and I have some double sided adhesive that I'm adding onto that copy paper. I'm going to add this on and then just press it down really well with a bone folder so that it's fully adhered and then I'll start my project. I've gone through my cardstock scraps drawer and I found some various shades of cardstock. I have all the colors of the rainbow, a light pink, a dark pink, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, and purple. Choose any color combination that you like. I'm really drawn towards rainbows. I think they're just bright and happy. So I usually tend to go with a full rainbow of colors whenever I'm doing a project like this. I cut them all into strips that are about one eighth of an inch. I used my paper trimmer, so if they're a little bit off, that's okay, nobody's really going to notice. And then I'm just going to start adding these down onto that double-sided adhesive backed copy paper, just placing them in rainbow order. Once I have enough that I have uh, enough room to put these Jordan Alpha Jumbo Upper dies down, I'm going to spell out the word hello. I'm using just a bit of washi tape to hold these in place. You could go diagonally with these strips, but since I went horizontally, I want to make sure that my letters are nice and straight so that the strips of cardstock don't look wonky. If you have trouble getting things lined up perfectly, a diagonal pattern for the paper strips is a great way to go. Now that I have my sentiment done, I'm going to create my background. So I'm taking the old brick wall six by six stamp I have that mounted onto the lid of my stamping platform, and I have a piece of A2 cardstock. I added some tape runner adhesive to the back, and I lined that up on my stamp so that it'll be straight on that old brick wall pattern. And then when I closed my stamping platform, I closed it upside down, and that's going to help my paper stick to my stamping platform and it won't move around. Since the stamp is bigger than my paper, I can't use my magnet. You could always stamp on a paper larger than what you have, but I have a whole bunch of cardstock cut down to A2 size, since that's the size card I make the most. So this is the method that works best for me. I have added some foam adhesive behind my Hello Sentiment, and I've cut a piece of scrap black cardstock. I didn't measure this, I just eyeballed so that I would have a little bit of a background behind these letters. That's just something that's going to help them stand out from the background and make it pop just a little bit more. I love how the rainbow colors stand out against that black cardstock. I'm lining them up, again just eyeballing them and getting them as straight as I can. And I also have a sentiment that I stamped and die cut from the Cosmos 4x6 stamps and coordinating dies. I have cut down my old brick wall background to four by five and a quarter and I added that onto a black card base and then I added my sentiment right in the center and that's it. This card is finished. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy card and that you'll try this technique in your own craft room. Bye!